with everything going on right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. <laughs> the woman whom we are not identifying was nervous when she sat down to describe the horrific night she went through last October. It happened here, off campus. She says she went to a Halloween party at this house. Someone had posted it that we were friends with, so we decided to go check it out. Um, we walked into the back and there was a lot of people. My friends ended up getting separated from me and some guy came up to me, handed me a drink, we were talking. That was when she was taken to a room in the house. She says several guys were already there. They threw me down onto the bed, uh, face down, and they took turns um, assaulting me from behind, um, other things in the mix, and uh, I was bleeding everywhere. She says her piercings were ripped out. The assault happened when she was 17 and left her with bruises all over her body, including her neck and legs. Her attorney shared these photos with us. It was really aggressive. It wasn't, it, it was aggressive. It was um, really scary. Yesterday, SDSU announced it had started its Title IX investigation into the assault. The university said it was asked repeatedly not to start its own investigation because it could interfere with the police investigation. Unlike a criminal investigation, the Title IX investigation only looks at whether campus policy was violated. The maximum penalty is expulsion. The now 18-year-old thinks the university may have other motives for delaying the investigation. It feels like since that football team was doing so well, um, since they're so well known, um, that maybe it could be the fact that they are good players, um, trying to brush it under the rug. She says there was a lot of evidence that the school could have done something to protect their students. Kind of scared me just because I do know how many girls go to these parties and make the decisions that I unfortunately made that night. It scares me for the other women and all of the other students altogether that have no idea. I think SDSU waited too long. Police say the investigation is ongoing. So far, no one has been charged. Alexander Nguyen, KPPS News.